Yeah. Hey, um, what's the name of it? Oh, Bill. Bill. Hey, um, I'm trying to get the number to the Oakland Hospital. Yeah? Oh, I need to ring the Oakland Hospital. Hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it. I'm online now. Just hold on a sec. Oh, thanks, John. Hold on a sec. I'll get it. Um... Oh. Uh, yeah. Hang on. Uh, Auckland Hospital. I'll just have a. I'll just have a look. Yeah. Um. Um. Oh. Won't be a tick. Just hold up. Auckland Hospital. Oh. And. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look. Oh, good luck. Oakland Hospital. Right, here we go. Um, uh, um, just, um, just write this number down as well. Yeah. It's 09367. Uh, oh, 0967. O O O O zero 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 four zeros. Four zeros. Zero zero. O O O. Four times. Yep. O O nine three six seven. O O O O. Four times. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got that. Yeah. And I'll look around for the 0800 number if they have any. But that's, yeah. that's the number. Oh. Hang on. Oh, to Auckland, eh? Oh, oh hang on. Um, I'll just have a look at the site. Um, Hang on, um, um, contact us, hang on, contact us, contact us, contact us, hang on, I'm just waiting to get the, contact us, right, contact us, hospitals, cafes, um, mm, mm, uh, all sorts, no. no, I haven't found an 0800 yet, that's the only number, 0936, 0936700000, there's four noughts and I still haven't found an 0800 yet. No, no, that's right, the that Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being a Saturday as well. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, mate. Thank you. All right, bye. Right. Well, that's Morris. Um, at the present time, I'm just. Oops, who's left me a message? I, I have. Been busy with Mungungu and our lake on my parrot, but I am always hopeful that the God keeps you safe. Oh, I'll bring Manahi now. Hi Manahi, I'll, I'll give you a ring back in a quarter of an hour, eh? if, if you get this message. Okay, I'll try again. Bye. Well, um, I'm just, before um, Morris rang, Morris Baker, 
He's up in Taheke. Uh, so I'm working between him and his farm and um, the legal side of his farm on the deed titles. And I've got his deed titles here, all of them. Oh, the whole lot of them in these two books. He's gone through all of these documents in his boxes and pulled out all the original titles. He's done a lot of work and left them with me, like all the other chiefs, even Mohi Manaka, left all the titles with me, Matu Tarawa, Jawi Hongi, and some of the others as well, I can't think of their name at the moment, and even some of the ones at Wakatu in South Island, Derbal Island, Kafaru, the giant ancestry, that's um, um, Kwata, Kwata. I just uh, can't think of her name at the moment, but um, her, she and her cousins, her family, Hapu, um, gave me their documents for to cover. I brought them up to Auckland, to One Tree Hill. Um, what's her name? Koata. Anyway, uh, Ross Kafaru. Ross Kafaru is the original Kafaru down in Nelson in Devil Island. They've got a land down there. I'll be down there to sort all that land and the Manukau and the Parapara land in Golden Bay. Parapara, the place called Parapara there and the Manukau um, uh, domain. There's a big um, big area of the Manukau's title there. This Tera Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau. It's all over the country the Manukau title. I'm holding those titles right here. And I'm at a point now I'm posting this video I just made with um, um, Morris today. Just some snippets of what's happening between the government of New Zealand, the Labour government and Jacinda Ardern and uh, Winston Peters, the leader of the New Zealand First Party, Deputy Prime Minister of New Zealand and Labour are joining forces with TPP agreement they've signed, pre-signed, for March. Now I'm going to catch them out. I'm going to catch them out. I'm going to put an asset on them, legal asset on them, as the commercial landowner here of this country. There's two of us, me and Robo Morris Baker with deed titles to prove that none of you have any titles or memorials to this country to put in front of me and Morris. I'm making those statements with Tony Fortune of Fortune Manning Lawyers, a notary for apostasy to legalise these documents of titles. I'm going to jam that right in front of this government Maori Party, the Maori, Maori government, sorry, the Maori Party's disappeared, the Mana Party's disappeared, everything Maori will disappear, I'm saying that statement on this video, as being one big scam set up by Pākehā, the white Maoris, of a corrupted fraud land transfer title under Ngāti Whātua. Iwi Maori Crown Corporation Private Companies. I've got you right where I want you, ready for the hanging rope in the legal system by the British and me and Lobo Baker, Morris Baker, from his ancestor William B. Baker, Magistrate. in Rangitukia, East Cape on my Marangaroa land blocks and Haho land blocks at Tiki Tiki in Rangitukia. The first birth, death and marriage certificates was in that area, Tiki Tiki, St Mary's Church and the first magistrate of William B. Baker, 
at Rangitukia Resident Magistrate on our land. My ancestors were Taha Chief's land. That's the title I'm holding, that title, and many other titles to this country. Now, unless any of you refute what I say, that's the law. As soon as it's signed and apostolized, initially. I'm waiting for a call back from the debt collectors. They're coming after you one by one. You're libelled by John Key and all your predecessors in a legacy of fraud and corruption of the justice system in this country. It failed me in my court case. The CIB police lost the case and the landowners on 77 Cook Street lost the case in the court. They thought I was going to get strung up in jail forever. You thugs and pirates and the police, and the courts, and the judges, and the lawyers, and Shannon Withers from Vulcan Chambers, lawyers, and barristers, a libel. You unlawfully arrested me, and charged me, and got thrown out because of lack of evidence against everything I'm citing against you individually take you out. I'm putting a bounty of a trillion pound Great Britain pound note and bullion gold water money currency of Maui Crown Bank creditor over your head. All of you. All of you. The British are watching you, watching me. They're watching me too. The lawyer has to be very careful how he treats me because I'm disclosing everything online so that you are the first to see it on YouTube as disclosed, discovered evidence that cannot be challenged because the judges have nothing to go against me or nothing of a case against me when I have all the information to shut you down. That's what I was going to do with the government, but they didn't invite the British Navy, Royal British Navy here, on the 75th birthday of the New Zealand Navy, shut the British out. Now the British are going to shut you out. I'm ordering the British Navy and military to shut you down. The New Zealand Navy and the Whakamininga and the Maori government and the Labour government of New Zealand and its parliament. I will shut you down because I've got too much information about this country and its title and its origins and its whakapapa. Correct, right, to a T. With Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau and King George the Fourth title that's been hijacked by you lot of fucking thugs. Maori, thugs, pirates, iwi, trust, and the New Zealand government and New South Wales government are thug pirates. I'm having you up in Australia too, because that 93 Native Land Act in Australia was stolen from Te Ture Whenua 1993 Native Land Act here and Refere for Manukau's 1862, 11th of November 1862, New Zealand Native Land Act. You stole it and now you're going to pay the price. You're going to lose everything in Australia. We're going to take that country back to Britain and Canada and Australia and America and the British government with all its EU Parliament thugs inside it are going to get fucked out. You know why? Because this flag is the only King's commercial trading bank flag of commercial owners that have that power as first and second party to the British Royal Navy 
First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones. He hasn't answered my letter yet. I'm surprised. But as soon as I get apostolised, the British are coming here to clean you lot of thug bastards out. Because I'm ordering them through this lawyer. And through Graham Allen, brother of Cicada, for Scotland Yard before in Britain he worked as a policeman and here as a policeman in New Zealand and now he has his own private practice. I've given him all the information on this court case on 77 Cork Street. Those two landowners, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree and those other 43 people including the police who got on my road and tampered with my information about me going to seize back this Manukau land. The Lynns, New Zealand Transfer Office failed to put in the Manukau land name on the land titles. It's on these titles, the British titles. You didn't put it on the titles of Land Information New Zealand, like I said, in caveats. That's the offence. It's too late now. The time has passed. I, be, I keep bringing it up all the time. These are not limiting acts that I'm using. They're ongoing. The acts I'm using of King William IV, 1832 to 1837, are 1984 pages. That's all I'm using. At the present time, I can call on King William III's acts of Westminster Parliament. 1869, 1860 to 1870. And then King George IV's titles and his laws, acts from 1820 to 1830. Sorry, King William IV's acts from 16. It's from 1694, not 1869, 1694, the Paranoid Act of Westminster, the Bank of England Act of Westminster, and the St. Patrick's Eight Point Star Municipalities Act of 1869. This period of 1869 to at least 1766, the American independence. So there you go. That's what this government here is a threat to our organization, our memorials, our land titles. They have no titles. The government here is only a private organization for itself. Interests and security. It has no legal title of its own. It is using hapu as going through Maori which is not real. The Maori part of the government is their own invention and patent name. We have our own patent name, King William IV, King George IV, King William III, and Rewhiref Manukau, Te Rawakato Wharehere Manukau, and Huri Te Kuri, those three chiefs and the three kings. Memorial titles. To all the commerce consolidated into King William the Fourth flag right here. Now, the Whakaminia doesn't have those contracts. They're only waving around a flag with no legal jurisdiction. Nothing whatsoever. It can't make up any new jurisdiction without going past me and all the original titles. None of those people in the Whakaminina here has any of these documents. They're holding on to my book. They're holding on to my book. They've signed it and gone the other way to think they're going to do it themselves. You're going to find a pound note on your head because I'm the author. I'm telling this lawyer, Fortune Manning, one of the top lawyers in this country, top companies, that I'm the author of all those documents and the Freemasons, Scottish title, paper that it's written on. They own those documents that are right all over. 
and it's British. The flag is British. This is a British flag with a red cross on it. Belonged to King George and the commerce side of kings, bench court and king's emperors. I'm holding the king's emperor's title, just like I am right here. Okay, so don't push your luck. You Maoris, you're wading into legal territory, which will be fatal if you don't know what you're doing with that flag. It's going to turn on you. I'm warning you, if you're going with the TPPA, you're a threat. Go ahead by APR, I'm giving you notice on this video, YouTube, that you are a tomato on Waitangi Mirai for the Crown. You have sat in there with the government, Labour government, with Willie Pater and the Whakaminia. Your Whakaminia is Pakeha. It is not the original chiefs. There was chiefs who signed with the kings before the Whakaminia. You've only fashioned that Whakaminia out of the 1835 Declaration of Independence of New South Wales and New Zealand government. You have no right to go into the British side of the kings. You have no right, no legal right, to be flying that flag for your business operations. If you think you're going into business, it's going straight into debt. You are a threat on this video using this flag for the wrong reasons. You have no legal or legitimate authority to fly this flag without reason of its history and its jurisdiction is not the New Zealand Navy. They are tampering with this title of Kings of Commerce and Kings of the Sea. And Willie Pater has made a statement to me saying that the Whakaminia that he's in, which is the same one that you fellows are operating, that Bundy's pulled out of, I know Bundy would not go into something if I'm not there or if he thinks it's going to go straight into a deep fat hole, the same as the Maori Party and the Mana Party, straight into a big hole, and the Maori Land Court will go into a dead hole, dead centre entity, graveyard. Maori government will go in the graveyard with the Maori Land Court because it has no legal right to these lands. Maori has no legal status on these lands. It's just a myth. A total fucking lie. I can say it that way. Because you people have been duped. And Alfred Mitchell, that fucker many, many you're talking about, Mohi Manukau, appointed you. He fucking knew all along that you bastards are dumb. You're fucking thick with dummits. Alfred, you're fucking dumb. You don't know anything about contract law, bank conveyancing, legal titles, how they work, how the banks work, how the British work. You wouldn't have a fucking clue other than waving a flag around you don't know anything about. You're in dangerous territory. Alfred, Georgie Job, I'm just warning you. I've been in it too long. I've gone further than anyone in this country, as far as the law is concerned, of Britain, UK, and those Manukau chiefs, the real ones. Alfred, you got you got the fraud ones. Mori Manukau is fraud. He made up that Ngāti Whātua tribe, ISIS equivalent of America. Ngāti Whātua is one big scam. Tribe, I don't care how you think of me, but I'm true. I've got Maui, Earth Gods, Deeds of Truth. You'll have to challenge me in the High Court of Admiralty in London. 
You will have to pay to go there. I don't need to go there. You have to go there. They already know me there. I've got all the documents. The lawyer can do it for me here. It's you that has to go there and find your way there to lose. All of you Maoris, you're going there to lose. You can do the haka, do what you like, but when it comes to everything on this land, you have no title. These three chiefs hold the title to this country. And you didn't know that. You're just following what I'm saying. But don't go near this. Don't go beyond 1834, because all of a sudden you jump from 1835 to 1834. And that's Refereff of Manikau's title. He signed the land titled agreements. And somebody stole it. Tiny we stole it. I dare say it, Napui stole it too. And all the other tribes, they were duped. That's why Napui has kept itself away. Half of it is on that side, half of it is on the other way. The Whakamini, they, they wouldn't know which Whakamini they're talking about. 13 chief one or the 38 chief one. You wouldn't have a bloody clue how that's stitched together legally to make a title out of it, to make money out of the title. You don't know anything about banks and broking and assets that are, belong to the king. You only know assets that belong to the queen. The king can swipe them all off you and that's what's going to happen. I'm ordering the British military and government to seize everything. The same way as they seized Okiato native court in Russell and put it in Awaroa in Helensville. Alfred, I've been in that all along. You've only come here and poked your nose and here and there and everywhere and thought you were an Attorney General. That's all bullshit. Fucking bullshit, Alfred. I'm telling you now, you might as well throw your fucking rip your papers up because I've got all the papers here for the Maori government. I've ripped them up. They don't apply. The fucking meaning of that Mohi Monica did with Nancy Fatu, a tribe, wrap it up. It's not worth the fucking paper it's written on. I've got the fucker papa. He's put me through a lot of trouble with him for six years writing up all his history, going around all the graves. I know where they are, all are, all the Manukau's graves. I know everything about Ratna because I've got all their documents here and the Freemasons. I've got them all here from him. And he got nothing out of it. He hasn't got even a lamb to his name. They took the whole fucking lot. Took his, took his titles because they were Rogans, his uncle. He was only there for his uncle, John Rogan, that signed the documents with Ref Ref Manukau. And <clears throat> his Mohi Rogan, uncle, that he lived with. His uncle, Mohi Rogan, brought him up. And that's why people hated him, because he was on that side. Kingy always says, Mohi's a kupapa. Well, in the end, he was a kupapa. And you, Alfred Mitchell, you got sucked in, just like an uh, Aussie, sucked in. And as a consequence, you have to pay the price. Unfortunately for you bastards, you pay the price for fucking ignoring me and thinking you got something better with fuck all titles to stack up in front of me. You're making things up. You'll get pushed over by the British. Watch what I say. And the Maui statue. Where's your memorial, Alfred? What is it? What is your memorial? What are you using? Not King. Don't use the fucking King. Don't use King William IV because I'll boot your fucking ass. I will boot your fucking ass this time because you have no title to him in England. Fuck all. You're a pirate from Australia. Go back there and those abos will pick you up and knock your fucking head in. That's what's going to happen to you because you're tampering with my titles here with the Manukau. The real Manukau in Pohara Pa, Ma in Pohara Marae in Mangatotari. That's my father-in-law's title there. That Tainui came in and shifted his house. I'm going to boot Tainui's fucking house right out of there. 
I'm telling you, if the military has to come here, they'll move you. Because you stole the title. Your people. Alfred, your fucking Pakeha. Alfred Mitchell, your Pakeha. Maoris. Maoris is fucking nothing on these land. I'm telling you. I'm Maui. Not Maori. I've never gone along with it. And it's certainly looking that way now. That it was one big fucking jack up. Your ancestors did that to the original Moriori people. That's their Punga Punga Marae in Pohara, right where the rock is, and that whole mountain to the title of this country. You fucking bastards. You bastards. You people down there, and Maniapoto, and you fucking Georgia Job, you bastards, kill these fucking Morioris. They're not all dead. They're not all dead. They're still there, and I'm there for them. I'm there to get their titles back off you bastards through the British, because that's our partner, the British. I'll order them to get these fucking titles off you. All everybody in this country has to go back to the British deed titles and start again. That's what I'm saying. It mightn't look much, but I have all the evidence. None of you will win in court. You can forget it. You can forget it. I've set up these marais and Waitangi marae and I think Hoheba is going to have a try and have a go at it. No. Dead wrong. Hoheba, Ipiha, you're an Ipping from Australia, the same fucking place as Alfred Mitchell comes from. The pirates. The prison convicts of Australia, New South Wales, Sydney. That's where you come from. Over there. You're trying to take this country over, and I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to let you thugs go with the New Zealand Navy. That Navy officer won't answer my letters to him. None of them. They're ignorant of me. Well, I'm going to fucking be ignorant of you and get the British to fucking kick your fucking ass out of here. The same as. President Rodriguez did today kick the Americans and Trump out of the Philippines and kick the fucking Rothschild banks out of there. I'm going to kick the whole lot of them out of here as well. Watch me from here. Hey, this is Manukau land right where I'm sitting in this office. This little place is sitting on the land. I'm going to make them pay up. The rent, the ground rent, the king's royal revenue. I'm going to balance the books. My management crew is ready in Britain and here. Ready to do the sums and settle the accounts with you thugs. I'm going to settle your account. You're not going to settle us. We're settling you. Your time has come to an end before TPPA and you bastards sign it. In March 2018 this year, next month, you think you're going to sign it and get away with it? No. I'm going to stop you with the British military and British government when I get these documents through. That's what I want to say. <clears throat> I'll just show you a little bit of... Oh, I've spelled this wrong. Okay, I've just got to fix this, edit this uh, video that I've just made now from today. Um,
nuclear is it? Alright, crown, legal. Get it. Doesn't make sense. How do I manage to get that through? Doing too many things at once. My crown, legal, versus a threat by New Zealand crown, not too far to her. Foreign private interest. <laughs> Found. Okay, that's better. Legal. Commercial. Oh. This is a threat. This is New Zealand Crown Natifatua and Private Interest. Threat. Okay. So that's the title of this video. New Zealand? Oh man, this is... New Zealand? New Zealand Crown Commercial Landowners versus... New Zealand Crown Natifatua TPVA Foreign Private Interest Threat. Okay, that's what I want to save the title of this video. So that's that video, and I'm just putting this one together as fact-cited evidence to back up my statements right here on YouTube in front of the world. You are the witness to everything I say, 
as a natural man. Not a corporate man, but a natural man and a corporate company called Hawani Wanoa in capitals and Hawani John Wanoa in capitals or Wanoa in capitals everything that's in capitals holds one trillion pound bounty on anyone's head because that's the value of my birth certificate right now to Britain, UK, Westminster government, Brexit, under King Ernest Augustus the Fourth, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Altair, New Zealand and Pacific Islands and 250 countries, Commonwealth countries of the world. British Empire and three paramount chiefs contract in private. Commercial land owners. That's who I am. A commercial land owner with Lobo or Low Morris Baker. Morris Low Baker is now a commercial land owner with deed documents. You have to have deed documents dating right back to 1823 to 1862 Native Land Act of New Zealand. Ref Refa Manukau Sale and Purchase Agreement with John Rogan Magistrate Bank of Aurora Helen Okay, that's how it works Ref Refa Manukau has nothing to do with Mohi Manukau As far as I'm concerned Mohi Manukau and the Ratna Church Fabricated Nati Fatua tribe. The Ratna was involved with that with Mohi Manakau and his Freemasons. They have fabricated the real Manakau in Pohara Marae in Mangatotri Mountain, Waikato District, Tira. Waikato, Whare Here Here Manukau, Moriori, Chief of the Hapu Pungapanga Marae, Arapuni, Cambridge, New Zealand to Cambridge, England. That's the title to this country, blueprint for the whole world with King George IV. Now don't anybody try and copy this because you don't know until I told you. I'm disclosing all this information as the author and the narrator of this history that's been hidden. That's proven if no one can refute it. So don't try and copy it because you'll get a pound note on your head. I'm warning all you Maoris, don't laugh at what I say. I'm serious. I'm serious about what I say and make statements in front of the whole world watching who is going to make a fatal mistake it ain't me or Morris Morris listens to me and I listen to Morris and he gives me all the information that I can decipher for him he has his rightful place with his ancestors and his ancestors British titles they made the agreement to buy and sell this country's land legitimate to a king of Britain UK. You wouldn't be where you are, Alfred Mitchell, and you useless bastards married, if it wasn't for those British to kick the French off and make them subject to the title of this country. They seized the French titles in South Island and put them through Aurora Magistrate Court Bank in Helensville. And there lies the history of the Manukau, the real Manukau that I'm telling you about, those two Manukaus, not the Manukau under Mohi Manukau and Mohi Rogan. No, absolutely not. They haven't got a real title that I'm holding, the memorials. They have no memorials. 
The Manukau's in the Manukau in, in the Kaipara have no memorials to this country as Moriori. Mm -mm, that's the Pākehā one. They have ripped Te Rawaikato's name and turned it into a woman for Ngāti Whātua, Iwi Māori Trustees Crown Corporation Tribe. Ngāti Whātua or Kaipara, Ngāti Whātua or Ōraki. The two biggest bullshit Crown Corporation titles in this country. They defrauded you people of New Zealand and the Pacific Islands and the whole world for that matter for the Queen's corrupted bitchola title and the Rothschild banks. You're liable now because every other country who is watching this video can have you up through this flag. It's the only King's flag in the world that no one can alter that contract. Only us, me and the British Navy, first Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, or Ernest Augustus, the bloodline. He is my partner that I'm swearing my oath to. I'm not swearing my oath of office to Sir Philip Jones because he'll come and go and somebody else will take his place. I'm not swearing my oath of office to Sir Philip Jones, first Lord of the Sea, of the British Royal Navy. I'm swearing my oath of office to King Ernest Augustus, the fifth of Britain, UK, Hanover, and all the New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world, 250 countries, under the flag of jurisdiction in Admiralty Magistrate Bank, the Maui Dower House Bank, the gold currency of 400 metric, 400 million metric tons of gold in the Caribbean under King William III. That's our title. We are his partner with these eight points star on our flag to his name and the St. Patrick's order he put together of municipalities to collect all the rent. That's our title of all that wealth and the gold on Philippines. 1.7 million metric tons of gold there and the rest of the gold around the world the Queen has amassed, picked up and, st or, and stolen for her royal families, they get to build 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your head, including the Iwi Maori here and the government of New Zealand and Australia, Canada and America and Britain. You all share the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. I'm apostolized that to make it real. And the British Navy and the British government and King Ernest Augustus the fifth gets a cut out of it. And Rodriguez Duterte, President Rodriguez Duterte of Philippines gets his cut out of the 1.7 million metric tons of gold sitting over there in his country. He's done well to use martial law of Britain to boot Trump and the thug, pirate, terrorist, American Trump and his corrupted family and the Russians, he's booted them off the land in the Philippines and booted the Rothschild banks out of there. We're going to boot a lot of them out of here as well, the Americans and the Bank of England, Rothschilds, and the Israel people that goes with America as the biggest shithole assholes of the world terrorising Palestine. Those are people living on this earth and that's their country. That's what I'm saying. You get off the fucking land, Israel, because something's going to happen to you before long. When the money's cut from America because it will bankrupt all of you, then you'll have nothing. Nothing. Watch what Moai says. I'm only there for Moai. Moai tells me what to do. He's God's spirit law. Deeds of truth. And the king's man's law. 
is what I'm using man's law on you lot of thugs in this flag of admiralty. Martial law on you. Your martial law came out of this flag and I'm going to rip it off you with the British military. Okay? That's all. No more. I'll get on with my passport. Gotta get going. Have a nice evening. See you later. Bye.